have a little bit of an issue with the blade uh, height here. I can't get it to fully retract and I can crank down um, on the handle and still can't get the blade to fully retract. And so I, I really, I really can't find why I, I've looked at all the normal stuff, but uh, I'm gonna, gonna go online and see what there is to see. So this, this is a little more clear. This is a quarter inch piece of, of ply. And so it doesn't stick up, you know, a lot. Oh, yeah, almost quarter of an inch. Um, and that's that's really as low as I can get it. And I don't want to crank it down because I don't want to bend any gears or anything. But, I mean, it's not just the blade. It's also, you know, the the arriving knife here. So, um, yeah, let's let's dig into this and see what we can do. So I took everything apart, right? So... I got the, the riving knife out, I got the blade out, you know, everything. And I vacuumed in really good and, and went into the back and then all of these bits and bobs and in the front. And the regular cabinet saw, either the half horse or three quarter is a little different than the professional cabinet saw. And that saw, there's actually a good video, which I'll link below. Um, there is a lift screw like right here. Um, and that's what usually gets clogged up if there's any sort of, of limit issue with the blade. On the standard table saw, again, half or three quarter, that's not where the issue is. So I dug around on the internet for a couple hours and finally found um, just kind of an explanation on the saw stop site. Um, and then uh, I couldn't find any videos, so I'm showing you what I found. So I have an outfeed table, uh, CNC, that like limits this. So I could just take it off, but I can get to it without taking it fully off. So where... What we're talking about is literally right here and then right inside here. So what I'm going to have to do is get uh, some high pressure air and blow that out and then I'll vacuum it again. And I'll show you what that looks like and let's see if that, that fixes the issue. Alright, it wasn't fun but I got this sorted. So what you have to do is lots of compressed air in here. Um, soft bristle like toothbrush is good too. Um, and then make sure you go down a little bit and clean out this, this tooth cog there. Um, let's see if you can see that right there. Um, so what you're going to do is come down a little bit, clean it, come down a little bit, clean it, come down a little bit, clean it. So it's clean all the way up. Now, in addition to that, what you're also going to want to do is stick your air nozzle right there. Now, well, that one's not actually clean. Uh, so you're going to clean that and clean all the way up in here. So that entire shaft, right? Um, yeah, wear a dust mask. It's going to get dusty. Um, use your vacuum cleaner and your compressed air and a soft bristle toothbrush to get that clean. All right, everything's cleaned and vacked out now. Uh, I'm going to brush that one more time just for giggles. blade squared up just because uh, that's what you do when you take it off you know just just in case and let's crank her back down looky there i was on the forums and looked on a couple of different if there was any instruction in this and i couldn't see any anywhere so i'm going to go ahead and post this one the internet being the internet um some uh some comedian uh on one of the forums said well just clean your saw if you clean your saw good well you won't run into this i've had i've had my saw stop for 97 years and i've i've never had any issue okay all right cool cool I'm, I'm glad you didn't have any issue um i my saw is not surgically clean i use it i use the living bejesus out of this thing and um yeah after five years six years this is the first time that uh this has happened so it may have happened to someone else out there, so hopefully this video helps.